The Music Resolver FX is a brand new tool introduced into DaVinci Resolve 19. It is a DaVinci Resolve Neural Engine tool, so I do believe you need Studio for this, but it is an outstanding tool, especially if you're needing to manipulate a song and you don't have access to stems. We're gonna take a little listen to the song, just so you have an idea of what we're gonna be manipulating here. Okay, so that's the song we're gonna be working with. Uh, if you take a look in the inspector, you're not going to see this tool, as well as if you come up to the effects, you're not gonna see this tool there as well. And that's because this is a track level effect. So it's going to affect anything that is in whatever track you enable it on. So if we come to the track head here, we click on it, we can see it's right here, Music Remixer. With that being said, I highly suggest renaming the track in which you're going to be adding this onto and you can change the color if that's something you wanna do. So let's turn it on, and we can see that we have a couple of different parameters here to change the different levels, and we also have toggles down here to turn off that particular uh, element as well. So if we come back and listen to it a little bit, we can hear the drums pretty significant throughout that. So let's pull the drums all the way down, and they're automatically gone right away. So one thing that'd be cool to do here is to turn off, let's say the drums at the beginning and then bring them in right here. Right, so that's the first time we start to hear the drums. But if we take a look over here, we do not have any keyframes down here either. And that's because this tool is primarily for the Fairlight page. Over there we have a bigger tool set for dealing with something like this, and that is going to be automation. Automation is kind of like keyframes, but it's not on a frame by frame basis. It has to go all the way down to the sample. So if we open this up, we'll see this right over here. So that's just indicating that we could add uh, automation to this. So let's go over to Fairlight and play around with a couple of those because I feel turning the drums off here and then having them come back on right after would be ideal for this particular project. So just coming in, we're going to open this up again. We can click on the track head and get access to this. So we'll open this up. If you've never used automation, uh, I would highly suggest learning it. I have a whole course on it on my website, but what we'll do is we'll come up here and we'll click this button and we'll get all of the automation tools. This is going to be referred to as a plugin, so we'll enable that. And then I like to come in and turn on latch. I feel like latch is probably the way that I wanna start this. And I'll come all the way to the beginning and let's turn the drums all the way down. Because I manipulated, you can see that there's this red at the bottom here that's just stating that there's automation associated with that particular parameter. And then I will record and this is going to record all of the different parameters. If any of them change, it will then save that. So. Remember, we're gonna turn it on right here. Down and back on. There comes our drums. Now, I just recorded that. And we can see that now we have some automation there. So if I come back, we can see that it's off still. And then once we get there, it's going to come on. Exactly how I record it. We can do it with all the different parameters uh, as well. So we go on, maybe turn the vocals back. I don't really know what they were saying here, but. Okay, so there you go, hold that back. Right. And you can do it with all the different parameters. And if for some reason, if you wanted to go through here, at, because we're using a mouse, we can only turn one at a time, so we can go through and record again and record something else, right? So that's pretty much how this tool works. If you come into here and we open this up and then we go into uh, plugins, and we take a look at the different ones. I think I was working with drums. You can see all the automation that I had for drums and everything else, vocals. 
so yeah, that's how you would go in there. You can also come in and you can draw as you want uh, the automation. So that's pretty much everything with the Music Remixer. It really opens up the doors to a lot of customization within different songs to really fit whatever the visuals are that you have on screen. It opens up the doors for a lot of songs that you may not have been able to use. If it's lyrics or different portions of the song that might have been a little too high or just didn't fit the mood of the song, now we can manipulate them. Um, but yeah, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do wanna know more about DaVinci Resolve 19, on my channel I have a plethora of different videos showcasing all the new updates in DaVinci Resolve 19. And also, I hope you guys join me over on Post Pro List where we'll be talking about a lot of these different updates. If you do have questions about something specific on that, go over there and ask me. But with that being said, my name's Justin. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next one, guys, have a great one. Peace.